You are looking at a dashboard that I build using an Excel sheet like this and I turn that all these data into this. We are going to build exactly same from using this Excel sheet into this particular dashboard. What you see is a sample data of a human resource imagination company having operations in three countries and it has uh, four different units, business unit or segments. They have totally 844 employees. Their salaries are coming to 104 million. How many female, male coming from this particular sample Excel file? Microsoft Power BI. BI stands for Business Intelligence. Microsoft Power BI helps the business leaders to turn their data into a business perspective visualization. If you need to install Power BI desktop version, you can go to your Windows on the search bar, you can type uh, Windows Store. And if you go to the Windows Store and search for the Power BI, and you will find it Power BI to install, you don't need to have administrative privileges. A standard user also can install the Power BI. The advantage of installing the Power BI through the Microsoft Store, whenever the update comes from Microsoft, it will be automatically applied. They are updating every month multiple times. New components and new features. If you look at it, this is the Power BI desktop version. I'm going to import this Excel sheet into the Power BI. To do that, I go to get data. When I click on the get data, you can get your data from a SharePoint, SQL Server, Access Database, including from the website. If you wanted to know how to import from any of the websites or any other sources, let me know. I can create another video for you. So I'm going to select from the Excel, import the Excel file. It's loading the Excel file. In the Excel file, I have two tables. I'm going to load this particular table. If you look at it, it will show you what type of data is there. Here you have two choices. You can load the directly load it in the Power BI or you can transform data. What's the difference? When you transform the data, you'll be able to clean the data and manipulate the data and add more fields. Here you look at the Excel file, which is transformed and ready for Power BI to use it. It has employee ID, full name, job title, department, business unit, age, hire date, everything. Also, you can clean the data for example, you have an exit data, but we have null, which is not a valid data for any uh, business decision. If you want to replace, you can use this particular format called Power Query, and you can modify the data. Any modification do here, it will not be right back to the Excel file. The original source data will not be modified. Anything we do here will be kept for the presentation only. I'm going to close and apply. Now we are connecting data and loading the data model. If you look at it, all the headings in our Excel file, we can see this area is called canvas where we will build our dashboard and visualization presentation. Any of these objects we see here, bar chart or pie chart or donut chart, any of the object we selected, it will appear. So let me remove it. You can go right mouse key and delete it. If we look at our original file, this is what we are going to build it. First is country. We are going to have a selection. And uh, next we are going to have a count of staff. So let me build that one. To do that, we call slicer. Slicer is equal to filter. So if I, when I click on the slicer icon, it appears here. I want to have a country. I will go and click on it and drag it and drop it. And it will appear. I will go and make it smaller. I can move anywhere I want. That's the beauty of it. The, in this canvas, it's like our playground. 
any changes i will go to the next one which is called properties there are few ways we can change it we can go and i can we can change it to tile which is if you look at it it will be look like this or i can go and change it to drop down which i can change in the drop down way we are going to have a vertical list as we plan it we am going to keep it like this and uh, if i want to put any value any changes to be done we can go and change it one of the interesting option is called effects and the background i'm going to select shadow but if you look at there is a shadow came up um, to make it beautiful everything is looks nicer now we are going to go to the original we can see that when the pie chart we are going to create the count of staff by country and this is the pie chart i come here i'm going to make a pie chart if you look at it the legend i'm going to make it the country drag and drop it and the value is going to be the amount of staff we can have it so we can place it nicer i want to make it background please exactly something like this i can do one thing i can highlight this one i can do the format paint and paste it it matches exactly like the other one if you want to select multiple you press the control key and select it now you can see now 62 percentage of them are in the united states employees are working 14.51 percentage working in brazil so that giving us some data there put a one more slicer to see the business unit segment by segment so i will select the slicer and i want to make it nicer here we are going to do the business segment business unit so fill this business unit there you go now i want to apply the same one uh, colors i don't need to do one by one i can paste it it's applied simple as that now i want to know any time when i select the brazil and the manufacturing i want to know how many employees are in the excel sheet what we have seen what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring which is called the card it's a very good tool to get you a total of it i'm going to bring that card and i want to have the employees numbers now the problem is the employee number i had to bring it down and get the count distinct count i want to change the color of this particular okay go here apply i have the red color if you look at it the beauty of it i will go to brazil under the manufacturing they have 36 people i want to see who are the employees of that if you want to see that one you can go and build the table so again select click on the your canvas and you can put it in a nicer way what information we want to have is we want to have a full name and also we want to have the, their salary detail annual salary and i want to know which city they are working also simple as that very easy straightforward you will see the total here now i want to see within the manufacturing there are other departments available how do i do that then i'll select on the pie chart i'll bring it up now i want to see by the department and the each department how many employees there x-axis i'm going to put the department and i want to put y-axis i will put the total employees so i will make it sure again i will go to the detail and distinct count i want to have it but i don't see the numbers here if you look at it brazil under the manufacturing i have it department and finance resources this is beautifully coming up go to the properties and you will see the data label you turn it on you said boom come up beautifully come up so if i want to see china united states and i want to see all the companies how many people have 
totally you will see 911 people and uh, in the IT itself 238 people working there or I want to see how many people in China in the IT itself only China I will see 50 people so give me a good idea now I want to see how much the salary applied to each section so I wanted to bring let me take the card which is will give us the so I'll put it here we have annual salary there you go I want to change the color as you already know we, we go to general properties okay we'll put it any color okay the green color is applied summary of the salary we put it there I want to change the background color background of this so I can go FX background color I'll change it to here nicely changed if I want to anything shadow I can make the shadow also looks a nicer I want to make a shadow for this one also shadow this is how we can build it I want to make it equal to the one so it will be looks nicer it will be very helpful for any business leaders let me go more I want to know by gender female male HR may concern about it so I want to make a slicer a filtering so I'll go here slicing I will bring the gender there you go you have it here now the gender I don't have enough space to play around I want to change it to slice setting I can go and select the drop down so I can give them a female how many female we have male we have everything we will see that one this is the beauty of uh, power bi is very very interactive so I'm going to select both so I can press control and mail I will get everything these are representing the current employees and the employees who left so I want to make another slicer or filter employment active or non-active so I will go back to the properties slicer I can select the drop down and I can select only active employees okay now I want to do is count of this title I don't like the way it's there I want to remove the count of EDI and by department instead of that I want to put it by department and I want to center the title I will go to the uh, properties general I can go here and the in the three dots and expand all the categories I can go all the way down I will see the title count instead of count by I will say by department you can look at it it's changing automatically and I can if I want to change the color I can change it or I can make it header and I will make it center so it's changed now what we had to do is we wanted to change the bar color to something attractive how we can do that we can go to the properties if you go to the column and you see the blue color now we will change it to uh, something different so you can see that it get changed and I want to apply the shadow we go to the general effects and shadow it will create a kind of shadow so if you bring it a little bit up so you will see in the bottom side there's a shadow come up so you can apply some kind of a beautification the other one I want to do is every business unit how many female how many males there I wanted to see that how can I do that so again we'll go to the canvas and make it sure somewhere click we'll go back to one we are going to create a bar chart x axis is going to be the department so I'll drag it here y axis is going to be the count so we can see that I can select any different way to present I can select on a different ways I can click on it 
the way you like to have it you can keep it different uh, format will change with the same data and I want to put the numbers appearing something like that so I had to make it sure I'll go and enable the data label it will bring up the numbers we have done a lot of work now but now we have this data I wanted to divide each department by male female how we will do is I will go here I will select the legend for male and female we can see it differs so we can see it's selected by the female and the male we pretty much covered everything now we are going to do the final part so let me make it beautiful here so if you look at this is what we have built it and this is what we have do done so far we visualize global so I will select it this particular part location by country I want to see that and I wanted to put the city in the legend now if you look at it it doesn't show us much better like you know Austin we can select them but I want to make it bigger so I can go to the properties I can go to the bubble I can make the bubble a little bit bigger so if I select only Brazil it will automatically move so I want to make it a bubble a little bit bigger let me go back and also in the global we have multiple views if I go to the map settings I can aerial view I can change it better off or I can see the gray list it, it's all how you want to present it to the management and what they want to see if I select the Brazil only you can see it will automatically move to Brazil and you can move into the Brazil's area you can go really in the data area where it's really really located this is how we can create a dashboard with a, an excel file data what you have now let me show you what we have reached here so totally if you look at it I can go and see only in the company how many females we have we know 461 and I want to make it sure only active not the non-active so I already selected active and I want to see in Brazil how many female we have so let me go Brazil all the community 69 people out of it how many people in corporate I can go only select the corporate I can see in that corporate 18 people we have out of that in IT four people hope you got the idea this is the advantage of power bi so i have taken a, a sample hr data to work on it but uh, you can do any type of data to work on it if you want me to do more on this one and more features feature analytic forecasting in depth of uh, getting knowing more about it please let me know in the comment section we can go from there hopefully it's very helpful this has changed my life too. I'm using in my day-to-day -day one for my vulnerability measurements and ticketing and uh, project management. It gives a higher view of what's happening among my team and our working environment. Have a nice day. Thank you.